And before we start our lobster session of today, I would like to share with you another amazing product. I love essential oils and I found this company that uh, were one of the first uh, company here in the US that start using the seal and the concept of uh, certified organic um, essential oils. So, um, I found this perfume and uh, instead of using a commercial por uh, perfume that might smell amazing, but they have a lot of um, artificial fragrance. And uh, I read somewhere that uh, just to uh, make the same uh, smell or fragrance of a fruit, some of them take almost 40 different chemically artificial ingredient to get to that uh, natural fruit. So that is very, very crazy. This is a very small uh, perfume bottle. Um, it's only five milliliters. I think that is worthy because it is a USDA certified organic. And the price for the bergamot, it's uh, 850 plus the shipping. So it's very affordable. And uh, I wear this um, once in the morning and uh, because I use just once in the morning, um, it lasts a long time. The only thing about uh, citrus is that, uh, oh. <laughs> I, I love it. The only thing that uh, about uh, citrus, uh, essential oils and uh, perfumes is that we have to be careful on the sunlight. Hmm. It's very soothing. Um, bergamot and any other citrus, they are known to be uh, revitalizing, very uplifting and uh, refreshing. Bergamot has other uh, benefits and uh, uses that I put uh, here on this side. And then uh, you can see uh, how good they are and what they can be used for. <laughs> so this is my little sharing for today and um, shall we start our lobster session now? Here we go! <laughs> few days ago I watched a video of a woman. She was walking down the stairs and you could tell by her body language that she was very worried about something, concerned or preoccupied about something. Her eyes were down, watching where she was going to put her feet on. And her arms were down and her shoulders also. And um, after two or three minutes walking down, she just slept and you can she fell downstairs. That must have hurt so badly. But the most disturbing thing about this was that she had a handrail right here. She didn't seem like she noticed that and she didn't rely on that. Neither had she put her hands on that handrail she could have prevented that fall. And that remind me that many of us so many times in our lives we go through things challenges and um, we just forget that we have god we have guardian angels we have 
our ancestors, we have our loved ones who went before us. They are all surrounding us, watching over us, trying to help us as they can. And the only thing that we are required is to remember and keep in mind that they are here surrounding us so close to us trying to help us to guide us and to protect us we just need to remember that and pay attention to the signs and to the messages that they send to us I am very bad at reading messages from them. <laughs> I really am because I am so distracted. But I pray and uh, I try and I ask guidance to be able to see their guidance. So this is my little thinking for today. And with that said, I think we can start our love test session now, shall we? blessings and I do hope that you keep remember how protected and how loved you are thank you again and I will see you tomorrow <laughs>